Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to install, validate, or manage fonts on your Mac. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we have a couple different ways to install and download fonts on our Mac. The first method is to use the app called Fontbook. Fontbook is gonna be natively installed with the Mac OS, and we can find it by searching in our spotlight up in the top right. So we search Fontbook, we can open this up, and when you get here, it's gonna look something like this. So this can be considered kind of the fonts manager. If we have any errors or anything that needs fixing, that's gonna be popping up in here. So if we wanna install new fonts, we could go up here to file and then click on add fonts to current user. Now it pulls up a navigation menu for us to find our desired fonts that we wanna actually install and load into Fontbook, which will then be installed on our system. Now I don't have any fonts yet, but we just wanted to show you guys where that menu is. Now to demonstrate this, we're gonna to go to a site called dafont.com. It's a pretty popular site for downloading fun and unique fonts. I'm gonna to go to some groovy fonts and let's say I want this one. So I'll go ahead and download it from the site and we can see it downloads a zip file. I'll double click this to open it up and within the folder we have some information and then we have the .otf. .otf is the font itself and so again we can go back into here. We can go add fonts to current user, we can do that. I can also drag this font right over into here. Uh, but the easiest way to actually install the font is just to double click the font file. So we'll do that. We can switch between any variations and then we can click install. Now if we go down to my fonts, I can now search for 70 Sunrise. And we can see I have it downloaded there. The trial version is probably just the regular version in that single style. Now if you're having issues with a font not registering correctly, it could potentially need validating. Here's how you do that. So I'll go to one of my fonts here. Uh, we'll use this one as an example. We can go to File, Validate Selection, and then it's going to validate the font. So one font file passed, this file should be safe to use, okay? Super easy. Now the last thing we wanna show you guys is how to remove duplicates. So if you notice a duplicated font and you wanna get rid of it, we can go to File and re Resolve Duplicates. And then we can just go with the automatic duplicate resolve and it says no duplicates found but if they are found it will resolve that and remove them for you all right guys so that's going to do it for today's video if you have any questions about any of this drop that in the comment section below we'll get back to you as soon as possible if you found the video helpful it's super helpful to us if you drop a like comment subscribe and share the video again if you're interested in genuine microsoft software for a great price check out indigo software we'll have links in the description box below so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.